Hi, welcome to TonyDing.com and my online tutorials. This is part one in a series on how to smartly use the Photo Mechanic software. Let's begin with a brief introduction to Photo Mechanic. If we bring up the Photo Mechanic website, you can see that it's a software program made by CameraBits, a small uh, company that's uh, actually based out in Oregon, which is my hometown. Uh, photo Mechanic has become a staple of the industry amongst professional photojournalists because uh, Photo Mechanic has a unique ability to shuffle through large numbers of frames uh, very quickly at full resolution. And its handling of picture uh, selection and captioning writing capabilities are uh, unmatched anywhere else in, in the industry. So let's take a look at the application itself. Uh, I will launch Photo Mechanic. Um, in Photo Mechanic, uh, you can bring up your main gallery and this is the uh, window that you're going to look at first which will be basically um, all your pictures in one window and you can zoom in on a particular image just by clicking on the zoom icon uh, or holding down the shift uh, bar on your keyboard uh, and that way you can look at images that way um, as you can see it's very easily to go through and go to your next or previous image by simply using your keyboard left or right keys or the icons up here. Other functions, uh, simple functions are like rotating or um, deleting pictures. Um, you can also in this uh, preview window um, get some IPTC info and EXIF info on your cameras like what you took it with, uh, you know what settings you had when you were taking the picture. Uh, stuff like that. In this uh, preview window you can also do some editing, you know, rough editing like cropping out images and stuff like that. Um, and really useful feature here is the two up uh, windows where you can actually compare one image against others uh, and it's very helpful when you select images uh, for edits. You have both the uh, vertical or horizontal orientation capabilities in here. So that's the preview window. And another good feature within Photo Mechanic is uh, of course the captioning capabilities of it. Uh, photojournalists use this to put the uh, information, contextual information of a picture. And you can see that you can just click on the eye icon for information next to each image. And in the Photo Mechanic it's also very easy to caption uh, and just simply move on to the next one. So uh, this is very good for captioning a football game, let's say. I don't have to close this window. My hand don't even have to leave the keyboard because there's a keyboard shortcut, which is command left bracket, or command right bracket. And this uh, lets you caption your pictures very quickly and efficiently. Um, you can also sort your views uh, with the sorting uh, capabilities here, uh, reverse sorting, and uh, of course uh, increasing and decreasing your gallery size with the size uh, slider bar right uh, in photo mechanic when you use the program uh, you can actually do something called ingesting which is a process by which uh, you auto caption all your pictures at the same time that you're downloading them from your computer and this is a good way to save time and be very efficient uh, in your workflow so to do that, you go to Photo Mechanic, go to File, Ingest, or you see the keyboard shortcut is Apple G. And um, assuming you have a card in your card reader that's attached to your computer, um, let's say you come back from a shoot, uh, you have your pictures in your card, and you, this way you can ingest and download the pictures as well as apply some caption information. So this is what's called the Ingest window. Um, you have a place to select where you want to copy it. Uh, you can select um, a, a folder and um, have it be put into a folder uh, with a special name. So we're going to just call this card1. And you can um, set the caption info right here when you click on the IPTC stationary pad. So right here, this is where you fill out all the information pertaining to your shoot. Um, usually I do this beforehand. Um, so that it's very easy to do. Um, I have, in fact, a IPTC uh, stationary pad uh, that's saved already. So I'm going to use my Associated Press standard one, which is for football games. 
and you can see um, this one since uh, the sample we're talking about is a football game uh, it fills in all my information automatically uh, and you can save these uh, after you fill them out just by clicking on the save button it saves a lot of time again so this uh, game that we're going to ingest pictures from was indeed the Ohio State Michigan game this year so um, this information looks correct uh, just I'm just glancing through here looks good and it's gonna click on the ingest button and as you can see my pictures are being downloaded by the computer um, and at the same time photo mechanic has applied all the caffeine information so what's happened now is all the pictures are downloaded to the computer into the folder I want and um, each image has a, you know, a, a cookie cutter um, default boilerplate caption, if you will. And this, you know, obviously I have to go through here and change all the names to uh, who the players are. But uh, that's all I have to change. And all the other important information, like, you know, the days, the city, uh, my name, uh, credit information, such as uh, that, and copyrights, those are all in here by default and automatically so you save a lot of time um, when you're especially on deadline uh, shooting a photo assignment. Uh, remember this was a, a gallery of photos uh, from the Ohio State Michigan game and um, you can see my pictures here. What we're gonna do is uh, tag some of them so what that means is if you're looking uh, through pictures uh, say after a game and you just want to uh, pick out the good ones so to say uh, I'm just going to go through here and scroll through and say I like a picture here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little uh, little box checkbox here in the corner or use my keyboard and what that would do is toggle the tag setting on this image. That means I have selected this photo and uh, go through again. I'm going to just tag a couple more and after I've done the tagging you can see these photos are selected. And what that means is I've narrowed my selection down. And this is very important in the edit process when you're going through pictures after you've shot them um, because you don't want to save everything you've taken. So after I've tagged my pictures, I'm going to sort by only viewing my tag. And this way I've narrowed my focus down. You know, I can blow them up so I see exactly what I've tagged. And I'm going to just go through and say caption the pictures I want. Um, to fill in the information like this one will be Ohio State head coach you know I'm gonna change the boilerplate here Jim Trestle and you know he's in the first half of college football game with uh, with Michigan uh, Saturday November 17th 2007 in Ann Arbor Michigan great I'm gonna change names here change my transmission reference uh, that's something I have to do for AP photos and this image is ready to go. So you can also mark pictures that you've captioned, uh, for example, by applying a color stamp to it. And that's very easy to do. Um, you can just uh, click on the gray bar under each photo and you can select a picture, uh, a color I mean. And for my work process, I assign this uh, winner color, which is uh, purple, and I and sign those to all the images I've captioned to tell myself I've captioned that photo. Um, you can see you can also give star ratings as well and uh, that's another way of uh, narrowing down your selection. So Photo Mechanic gives you basically three options to uh, selectively isolate pictures and uh, many many categories within each method so you can do a lot of sorting and uh, stuff like that. So. I'm going to actually just select this picture and I'm going to upload it and by doing that Photo Mechanic allows you the ability to have FTP um, so you can set up FTP connections and I've saved one for the Associated Press for myself and you can you know enter in all your IP uh, uh, server information here for your FTP server for the company that you're sending your pictures to select the photos you want in this case I'm only selecting the one I want to send and you can say FTP photos and um, you can select this way your saved 
information here and when you click on send boom it's gonna go and send the pictures so that's how we do that in phone mechanic uh, come back in the uh, next few parts for uh, more info on how to use um, some of the more advanced features thanks for watching